Hello everybody, it's Michael K here with GetFitOver40.com and I'm doing another video request video. And um, this one isn't going to be so much me talking about my opinion. Uh, basically, this comes from Jeff. I don't know exactly where Jeff's from. And I would say, you know, his email essentially is almost a testimonial. And there's some really good information in it. It wasn't really... I think he was saying, he was suggesting, here's some things you might want to talk about or share with, you know, with your uh, viewers. Like, you know, these are things that you could bring up with them because they've helped him. And so I thought I would just read his email because he's got a lot of really great points and things to say. And I think we can all learn a little bit from his email. So, okay, so I'm just going to read it through. Mike, I tried to find, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. No, it's tough. Let me do it this way. There we go. Mike, I tried to find on your site about the pros and cons of supplements, be it protein powders, creatine, etc. Personally, I've used them all at some point or another. I have both cassian, I don't even know how you say it, but cassian is, it's like a protein that um, absorbs slowly in your body. So a lot of people like to take it at night so that it releases over time. Anyways, and whey protein powders at home. I also take glucosamine, and that's for your joints, MSM, not even sure, and really believe it helps my joints when I take it regularly over a long time. So exactly, these, you know, glucosamines, especially when you get, um, you know, up in the 40s plus, um, your joints start to uh, deteriorate slightly, and anything you can do to improve the cartilage or the fluid in there or just the whole joint is, is good. And, um, you know, personal experience. I haven't talked about this too much, but I just had my MRI results and my doctor said, you know, if you're 70 years old, your knees would be awesome. But he says that at 44, your, knee, your knees uh, got to take care of them. So especially my right knee, well, that's the one that they MRI'd, uh, has some deterioration in it. I'll talk about that in another video, but there's some deterioration there and some arthritis. So I got to watch it. I can't, you know, I can't, I can't abuse that knee. I can't, if I do, it's going to just be worn out way before it needs to be. And so I got to take care, you got to take care of your joints. So using things like glucosamine and taking things for your joints is great. Says, and I really believe it helps my joints when I take it regularly over a long time. I think there is a psychological benefit to supplements for me. If I'm spending money to aid in my goals, I am more likely to continue training because of this, especially when I don't want to. So he's saying he's spending money on things, you know, he's going to want to get value out of them. And that's true, right? I mean, if somebody gives you something, a lot of times it just sits there and you don't use it. But if you buy something, spend money on it, you're more likely to use it. So he's got a good point. All right. I'm more likely to continue trading because of this, especially when I don't want it. I also give myself a budget to spend on myself getting healthy, be it supplements, gadget, workout clothing, weights. So he's rewarding himself. Um, for doing the fitness by buying him things that he feels he needs for fitness and that's a great idea, right? You know Achieve a certain goal and buy yourself a new weight belt achieve a certain goal and get yourself You know whatever another set of weights or something, you know that you can use to improve the whole thing All right, so Next one I also like I also find like you said in one of your videos that if I log my food intake daily that I am more likely to achieve my goals I currently use, and he uses something called fitday.com and myfitnesspal.com for this. What I like about these is if I find at the end of the day that I have consumed more than I should to meet my weight, weight loss goal, I will get up and take a walk, jog to burn the extra calories. And you know what, account, this is called, I guess you say, we'll say accountability. Accountability is when you're counting your calories that you eat and you're counting your calories that you burn and if those don't match if you're eating more than you're burning then you need to do something about it now it depends what you're trying to do if you're trying to gain weight you need to eat more calories than you're burning if you uh, are trying to lose weight you need to burn more calories than you're eating so you know he's got a great point and I always say this now it's something I think everybody should do is figure out how much calories they're, they're burning in a day and figure out how much cal how many calories they're eating if you don't know then how do you proceed forward? How are you going to achieve your goal if you have no idea what's going on? So everybody should do this at least for a little while. I don't really count my calories anymore because I'm pretty good at it. I've done it enough and long enough that I can, even if I were to count them, I would be pretty close. And I, I watch my body because I'm fairly lean and I can tell when I'm gaining or losing and I can adjust accordingly. 
But you know, people that have never been able to, have never done this, you're going to need to count your calories. All right. One last thing I do that really seems to help is just getting outside and go hiking, walking, running. Every time I get out and do something, I see people who inspire me. Whether it's the person who is much heavier than me, struggling to get up a hill, or people in much better shape, blowing by me as I struggle. I generally, in general, most people out there are friendly. Everyone says hello and with a smile. It's very encouraging. So, it's great to work out at home if you have a home gym. But what he's saying here is, you know, get out. Get out if you like can go to a, even a swimming pool gym once in a while or just get out for a walk or a hike or a bike ride. You're going to bump into other people. You're going to see other people that inspire you. And I think this is so true, right? You can't just hermit yourself inside your house doing your workout. I mean, maybe some people can, but I think it's a great, it's a great benefit to getting out there, even if it's one or two days a week or whatever, going to say a pool gym or a YMCA or something like that. And you're going to learn, you're going to meet cool people, you're going to get some ideas, you're going to get inspired, and you're just getting a, you're getting a refreshing break and you're getting a change to your workout environment that's maybe going to be a positive benefit for you. So I totally agree with that. All right, can't remember the last one is here. Uh, I've watched a lot of your videos and really do enjoy them. I'm not sure I'll ever get to where you are. I'm sure you can, but there, but there for sure is room for improvement in me. So that's the right attitude, right? I mean, and I've talked about that in my last one of my last videos. There's lots of people out there who blow me away, and they're older than me, much older than me, and they're just amazing athletes and amazing people, um, you know, motivators. And that's really, you know, in I don't, you know, it doesn't matter if I get to that place or not. It doesn't matter if you get to the place that you're shooting for. At least you need to have a goal. You need to have people and other, you know, other um, fitness people that motivate you and inspire you so that at least you have a target to shoot for, whether you hit it or not. You might even supersede that target. You never know. Don't limit yourself. So great advice here. Some awesome comments from Jeff. Thanks for sharing these with us. And um, please send me your video requests to Mike at get fitover40.com and if there's you know some that I feel I can I would like to share with my other viewers on YouTube or on my blog then I'll definitely do so um, so if I don't share it um, don't feel bad it might be just that I'm overloaded with comments and things and I just haven't got around to it and you know feel free to shoot it again just in case it got lost in the email shuffle all right thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe check me out on Facebook and Twitter and come down to the getfitover40.com website when you get a chance. Thanks for watching. Take care.